three days since flames lit up the south corning sky, leaving nothing behind but piles of ash and a household's fight to rebuild what was lost. Good evening, I'm Jordan Norcus. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 5. Tonight we are continuing coverage of the devastating fire that has left two brothers hospitalized and a household searching for answers. Our Corning Bureau Chief Ariel Salk spoke to one of the roommates of the home who was able to escape the flames. She joins us now live from Corning. Good evening, Ariel. Good evening, Jordan. Early Monday morning, a house fire in Southern Corning sent two brothers to the hospital, but there were three other people who managed to escape the house unharmed. Eric Robbins and his girlfriend Sadie Damoth moved in roughly a half a year ago. Robert says that the night of the fire, they had a friend over. All the guys were playing video games. The two brothers upstairs, Robbins, Damoth, and their friend, were in the basement. The fire alarms just started going off. And then, like two seconds later, all we could hear was Ben and Matt upstairs screaming fire. And then, not even 10 seconds later, I'm trying to get up the stairs, and I made it like three-fourths of the way before all I could see was orange, and it was uh, breathing in smoke, and it was just full panic. And at that moment, I knew that there was no way I was going to get through the kitchen. Robbins, his friend and girlfriend, managed to escape through the garage. The two brothers were flown to Strong Memorial Hospital. Robbins says he has known the brothers for years and say that they are like family to him. And Robbins and Damus did lose all of their possessions in the fire, so they have a GoFundMe account set up, as well as accepting other donations such as clothing. You can find all that information on our website, MyTwinTears.com. Reporting live in the Corning Bureau, Arielle Salk, 18 News.